Hey there, in this video we are going to look at um, a basic form of illumination when it's already set up for us. And then in our next video we will look at what happens if it's not already set up for illumination and how can I get it set up for illumination. So the elimination method for solving a system of linear equations involves adding or subtracting the equations in a way such that one variable is eliminated from one of the equations. This results in a new equation with only one variable left, which then can be solved for that variable. And then we can plug it back in just like we did in the substitution method. So the beginning of this method is different than substitution, but once you get um, to your merged equation, then you are really doing the same process as substitution. You solve for that first variable, plug it back in to get your second variable, and then write them as an ordered pair. So let's take a look at this example. So we can solve the following equation by using elimination because this one is set up um, for elimination already for us. And the reason I know that is because of a couple pieces. So first of all, I see that the x's are lined up, the y's are lined up, the equal signs are lined up, and then we have our um, constants over here. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be in that order, but we do have to make sure that when we're adding those, um, those equations together, we want our x's to be able to be added together, our y's, our constants, and in the same spot vertically, including those equal signs. So when we look at this here, we see that um, we have 5x and 1x. If I added those together right now, I would not get zero. They would not eliminate. However, if I add my y's together, negative 3 plus 3 is going to give us zero. So negative 3y plus 3y is going to be zero. So I can actually add down these columns right now. And if I do plus, plus, and plus here, 5x plus 1x is going to be 6x negative 3y plus 3y is going to be 0. There's not going to be a y left at all. Equals 17 plus negative 11. 17 plus negative 11 is the same as 17 minus 11, which is going to be 6. And if we have 6x equals 6, we now have an equation that has only one variable. We eliminated the y's when we added these together. And so now we can go ahead and solve by dividing both sides by the 6 here. If I divide both sides by 6, 6x divided by 6 is going to just be x because 6 divided by 6 is 1. And then over here, 6 divided by 6 is 1. So we have x is equal to 1. And now it's the same process as what we did with substitution. We just come back to either one of our original equations and we plug that x, that 1, back into one of those two equations. I am going to go ahead and use the second equation because it's 1x and I'm plugging into x, I don't have to multiply it by anything. So x plus 3y equals negative 11. I just plug in 1 plus 3y equals negative 11. And then I solve that equation because now I only have one variable. So when I solve that equation, I use inverse operations to subtract 1 from both sides. So I have 3y equals negative 12. And then I divide both sides by 3 to get rid of that 3 in front of the y. 3 divided by 3 is 1, so that's just going to be y equals negative 12 divided by 3 is negative 4. So my ordered pair for this um, system of equations that represents the solution is 1 comma negative 4. So in summary, we have the steps for elimination. So um, first thing you want to do, if it's not already set up for you, we'll talk about how we adjust. But if it's already set up or once you have it set up, you will add or subtract to eliminate one of the two variables. And then once you've eliminated a variable, you solve for the variable that's remaining in that equation. Once you get that first variable solved for, then you go ahead and plug that back into either of the original equations so that you can solve for the second variable. And then you always write your answer as an ordered pair, which remember is going to be x comma y. And then just a reminder for checking your answer. To check your answer, you can plug that x, y ordered pair back into both of the original equations. And if you plug it back into both of the original equations, it should be um, correct or essentially you should get a true statement out of each of those. For example, you should end with 7 equals 7 or negative 4 equals negative 4 or something like that when you plug the x and the y back into each of those two equations um, from the beginning. 